Let's say that you want to use a large language model like ChatGPT to help you in performing a certain task. And after some trials, you realize that it doesn't perform up to the level you would like to. What do you do in this case? Well, one solution to this problem is to try even more prompt engineering to fine-tune the answers you receive from the large language model. However, this approach might not solve your problem due to various issues that the model cannot overcome. Like the information you are looking was not part of the pre-training corpus, the language you are using represents only a tiny fraction of the training corpus, or the domain you are working on is a very specialized one, like healthcare, with very difficult terms to reproduce. If this is the case, then you have no other option than to fine-tune the model. But how do you do that? Fine-tuning something like GPT-3 with 175 billion parameters, LAMA-2 with 70 billion parameters, or even the smaller versions with 13 or 7 billions could prove to be quite difficult. Firstly, simply fine-tuning the whole large language model is not something feasible for most of us, mainly because we don't have the required computing power to do so. Then, we also most likely don't have access to the training data. So, if we were to simply train on the new data we want, the fine-tuning process could lead to a phenomenon known as catastrophic forgetting, where the large language model would learn to generate text well from the new data, but its generalization capabilities would greatly diminish and it wouldn't be able to reproduce new interesting phrases. So, what do we do? Well, this is where the low-rank adaptation, or LoRa in short, comes into play. What it says is that we can fine-tune a large language model by adding a new set of weights that should be trained on the new data, leaving the weights of the original model untouched. This helps us in solving the second problem that we discussed earlier regarding the catastrophic forgetting of neural networks. Why? Simply because we don't modify the weights of the original large language model. We just adapt them with a new set of weights so the model is able to retain most of the knowledge acquired during the pre-training process. But how about the first issue? How can we fine-tune such models without requiring a lot of computational power? Well, freezing the weights of the large language model solves part of the issue because we don't have to backpropagate through them. However, we have to backpropagate through the new set of weights that we have added for fine-tuning, which could be still quite computationally intensive. The solution for this that Laura proposes is to decompose this new set of weights into two matrices with a low rank. How, you may ask? Well, every matrix has a rank which shows you the number of linearly dependent vectors that it contains. For instance, the following matrix has a rank of 3 because no column or row can be reconstructed by the other two using only linear operations. The following matrix has a rank of 2 because the third column is simply the addition of the other two. And this matrix has a rank of 1 because the first column can generate all the other ones using a simple multiplication. Now, having explained what the rank of a matrix means, we can dig a little bit deeper. Basically, what Laura tries to achieve is to split the weight matrix we add to the original model into two matrices, A with M rows and R columns, and B with R rows and N columns, where R is a hyperparameter that we specified beforehand, representing the rank we want to approximate the matrix delta W with. Thus, LoRa diminishes by quite a lot the number of parameters we have to fine-tune, lowering the amount of computation needed to perform this task, without a huge loss in performance. And that's basically how LoRa works and what problems it tries to solve in large language modeling. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, share your thoughts about LoRa in the comments below, and subscribe to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time, bye bye!